Welcome to another edition of Woodworking with ADD. Shall we call this the Thaw Edition? Uh, as you can see, my work area that once was covered in snow is now a massive puddle. Uh, this is going to raise some new challenges with doing our woodworking, but I think we'll get through. One thing I do want to point out, if you ever wonder how much woodworking a guy does over the winter, wait for the thaw. This ground, it's not dirt. I don't know how well this is turning out on the camera, but this ground is literally just covered in sawdust. These piles of snow and ice, it's just absolutely caked in sawdust from all the cutting I've been doing. So, what I'm going to get working on this weekend is getting the other uh, cabinet built for this torsion box. So we've got our router cabinet already built that's put away. Uh, we're going to build another identical cabinet because remember we're going for modular here uh, to go on the other side. The only difference is going to be that one is not going to contain a router. It's going to contain just drawers. So this way here, if ever I decide I don't like the setup, I will be able to completely rearrange things and uh, each cabinet will bolt down exactly where the other one was. So I'm going to get working on that right now. As some of you might remember from the previous video dealing with our router cabinet, we talked about making everything modular. So the best way I can do that is all of the holes that are drilled in the bottom to bolt this upper cabinet to our torsion box need to be the same on this side as well as the other side in this cabinet as well as in our uh, cabinet full of drawers that we're going to have. So what I'm going to do, I've already got the boards cut for the next cabinet. And right underneath here, underneath the router cabinet, is one of those boards. So we're going to line that board up with the bottom of the router cabinet. We're going to go ahead and mark and drill those holes identically where they are in the router cabinet into the bottom of the other board. And that way, no matter where we set the router cabinet, no matter where we set the drawer cabinet, it will all, always bolt right in. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and take care of right now. What I decided to do this time, other than uh, what I did on the router cabinet, is I'm using biscuits. A whole lot of biscuits. Uh, wow, I can't even begin to think of how many I just got done cutting. Uh, but it did take a while to cut them. Uh, I decided to go this way just to see how much quicker it would go uh, than doing a rabbit. Uh, you know, really, it's about the same time, the setup to do this uh, and the setup to do the rabbit. Also, I just wanted to do a different style joint. Uh, sometimes it's just nice to do something a little different. And for those of you who know that my pocket hole jig built its own legs and walked away, that is still the most preferred way that I would have done this, is to use pocket holes. Uh, so, you know, we'll have to try the uh, biscuits now uh, and see about how long this will take us to set up. But I will get back to you when that's all done. Well, the completed cabinet that is going to house two sets of drawers. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be four drawers or if it's going to be six. I really haven't decided. Uh, well, what do I have to say about using biscuits? Normally, I like to use biscuits. However, that being said, the sheer number of bis biscuits involved in this project that all had to line up at the exact same time. Oh, and the lovely glue squeeze out here. Yes, I'm using regular glue. It's 45 degrees out right now. It is beautiful out here. Uh, well, beautiful for my kind of weather anyway. So yes, a lot of glue squeeze out that I'm going to have to get cleaned up here. Uh, overall though, not too bad. And now I will be able to bolt it down over here on this side. And bolt the router cabinet over on that side. And I've got a slightly different uh, trick I think I'm going to use this time uh, for putting in those lock nuts, those T-nuts, whatever you want to call them, in these holes on the other side. 
I'm going to actually use a forcer bit to kind of countersink them ever so slightly. Uh, there's some cross braces that I put in there that line right up underneath the plate and to use those T-nuts as is, they just won't sit right. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and use that. Uh, don't know if I'm going to get that done today or not. The weather is supposed to get down to 9 degrees tomorrow. I don't know how I go from 45 today to 9 degrees tomorrow. Uh, so I've got to try and get something done while I can. So, oh yes, and another lesson learned. Always have a brand new bottle of glue handy so you don't have to run inside and get yet another partial bottle of glue. Lesson for today.